Hello everyone, and welcome back. In this video, I will explain how to configure account lockout settings for domain users through group policy, where you can create a policy to lock user accounts and apply it to them. In short, an account lockout policy is a set of three policies that control when and for how long a user account will be locked. It is important for security because it can help prevent malicious users or hackers from accessing your account and computer systems. And when you have an account lockout policy configured, a user account will be locked after a specified number of failed login attempts. By default, Active Directory does not have an account lockout policy. So I will show you how to set up the policy, the default value, and the recommended settings configure account lockout settings for domain users. Let's get started. Open the Server Manager dashboard, and from there click on the Tools menu from the top of the page and from the menu click on Group Policy Management. Then right click on the organizational unit on which you want to create an account lock policy. From there, select Create a GPO in this domain, and link it here. Then enter an appropriate name for this policy, and click on the OK button. Then right click on the policy that was just created, and from there click on Edit. This will open the Group Policy Management Editor window. After that, Click to expand the folders, from the left side, to open the pack that appears in front of you on the screen. After opening the path, on the other side, you will find three policies, and by default not defined, and these three policies are responsible for locking user accounts. I will explain to you each policy separately, and how to set it up, and the default value and recommended settings. Double click to open the account lockout duration policy, and here you can specify the period during which the account remains locked, or locked due to failed login attempts, and if you set this policy to zero, then the account will not automatically unlock, and must be unlocked manually by an administrator. For example, if you enter the number 5, the account will remain disabled for 5 minutes, and then the user can open the account again. As for the second policy, which is, account lockout threshold. Through this policy you can specify the number of failed login attempts that caused the account to be locked. For example, if you enter the number 3, this means that after entering the password 3 incorrectly 3 times, the account will be suspended for a certain period, which is the period that you specified when setting the account lockout duration policy. When an account is locked, it cannot be used until it is manually reset, or automatically reset by the lockout duration policy. As for the third and last policy, which is Reset Account Lockout Counter After. Through this policy you can specify the time and minutes, in which the failed login attempt counter is reset to zero bad login attempts. It is recommended to set this policy to less than, or equal to the account lockout duration. After explaining how these three policies work, I will now set these policies to lock the user account after three incorrect password attempts. If the account is locked, it will be suspended or locked for 5 minutes, until you log in again. Open Account Lockout Threshold Policy, and select Define this policy setting, enter the number of failed logins, which is 3 times, and click Apply and OK. It will show you what Microsoft recommends, regarding setting these policies. Click OK, and we will make settings for them as we want. Then click on the Account Lockout Duration Policy, to determine the period during which the account remains locked, Select Define this policy setting, and enter the time, which is 5 minutes, and click Apply and OK. Then open Reset Account Lockout Counter After, and it will be automatically set to the time you entered, in Account Lockout Duration, and thus you have finished setting the Account Lockout Settings configuration for domain users, in the way you want in terms of specifying the number of failed logins, and also the time during which the account will be locked, and suspended. You can apply this policy to your domain users and check it, Thank you for watching. I hope the video is useful to you. I also hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.